In the last lesson, in our routesweb.php file, we added a route that simply displays the about page to the user. We are going to talk about controllers in this lesson. A controller is simply a class that determines what should happen when a user visits a specific route. Let's take an example. To create a controller, you can come to your app HTTP controllers folder and add a PHP class right here. Instead of adding a PHP class manually, we can use Artisan to generate a controller class. Remember, Artisan is simply the command line interface that is going to help us do everything in Laravel. So, to create a controller class, we can run PHP Artisan make controller and we have to pass in the name of the controller. So, we are going to say create a controller called about controller. And if you can look right now, it says controller created successfully and you can see an about controller.php class has been added to the controllers folder. If we go into that class, you can see that it's basically a class that extends controller. And controller is this controller.php file right here and this is the controller class. Now, if you're not used to namespaces and classes, don't worry about it. You're going to get used to it real, real fast. Basically, you can think of a namespace as a folder. So you can see we have app HTTP controllers and the namespace is app HTTP controllers. So this is a simple way for us to be able to load classes. For example, since the about controller and the controller are in the same class, we can just use controller right here and composer knows that controller is coming from the same namespace. We'll talk about that in future. Now that we have generated a controller class, how do we use it? We are going to go back to our web.php and in this file, when defining our route, we can either pass a function right here or we can tell the route to load a specific controller. So instead of passing a function, we can pass a string, which is going to be the name of the controller. And we have to pass the name of the function in the controller that is going to handle this. So we're going to say add and let's just call this index, which means when the user visits the about page, Lava would load the about controller and is going to execute the index method in that controller. If we come back to our application and refresh, you can see it says method index does not exist, which means that the index method on the about controller has not been created yet. And that's right, because our about controller at the moment does not have any method called index. Let's go ahead and create that method. Public function index. And in this method, we can do anything we like. We can, you know, call external APIs. We can make database queries. And at the end of the day, we can return a view. So here we're going to say return view and the view is called about. So now that we've added the index method, if we refresh, great, we still have the about page, but right now our routes file is much, much more cleaner. So you can see we have about controller at index and our routes file is only going to be used to register routes instead of having functions like this do different things. So a controller is simply a PHP class that is going to help us control what happens in application when a user visits a specific route. In this case, the about controller is in charge of what happens when a user visits the about route. So when the user visits the about route, the index method is called, which is here, and all the index method does at the moment is return the view called about. Okay, let's talk more about this in the next lesson.